Hey everyone, super excited to be here talking with you guys about some changes I've made in my routine. I've been testing out a few new skincare products and a few beauty products as well. I also want to talk a little bit about the difference between squalene and squalenes and decide which ingredient might work better for your skin. Alright, so first thing first, so let's start with cleansing our skin and work our way out. So one thing I've been playing with is Dysphorio Luna. I'm very cautious when it comes to things that offer a deeper cleaning because I do have sensitive skin and I don't want to irritate it. To use this product, I kept it really simple and I would apply cleanser to my face, rub the cleanser all over, and then I would take this and follow up with the cleanser, letting it rotate all over my skin just to help break up any debris that is in there. I've used this pretty much every other day and I can tell you I've had zero irritation from it. After using it, my skin feels so soft, so clean, as if I exfoliated it or buffed it without any of the irritation from those physical exfoliators. I have used the Clairsonic before and that one, honestly, even if I get the most sensitive of bristles, which are the longest ones, those do tend to irritate my skin. So even though I have a Clarisonic and I have extra bristles for it, I just don't reach for that product. But this one I've been keeping right next to my sink and been using it to give myself that nice glowy look in the morning and give myself a nice smooth canvas to apply any makeup. All right, so after cleansing my face, a couple of new products that I've been using. One is by Biopeel. I think I've raved about this company so often you guys are like, oh, Biopeel. I feel like we're close intimate friends with Biopeel now. They actually came up with a brand new product, and of course I said yes, please send it to me. This is their Antioxidant Defense Serum. So I've been using this as my new vitamin C product. One of the things I love about Biopeel is their growth factors. So this vitamin C has not only the vitamin C, but it also has growth factors in it. It also has a newly discovered botanical from Antarctica called Edifense. It's an oil-free serum that, that glides across your skin and soaks in quickly. It has vitamin C, ferulic acid. It is an all-in-one powerful serum. All I have to do is cleanse, tone, add that, and then add a moisturizer, and I'm good. I took before pictures, and I wanted to wait till I used it for a month before I shared the after pictures. So January 1st will be my one-month mark. So if you join me... On Instagram, I will post my before and after pictures there so that you guys can see the difference in using this powerful vitamin C for one month. So another new product that I have been incorporating into my skincare routine is this Melixir Squalane Face Oil. So this gives me a chance to talk to you guys a little bit about Squalane versus Squalene. You'll see both on an ingredient list and there's a little bit more to the difference than a vowel. Now Squalene is naturally created by your skin. It acts as a natural lubricant and helps create a healthy skin barrier. Now one thing I'm reading about is when they put squalene into skincare products, it can oxidize very quickly and that can clog your pores and cause breakouts. Squalene, however, does not oxidize and is great for all skin types to use. Squalene is also a bit heavier and more suitable for people with normal to dry skin. If you already have oily skin, I would definitely stay away from squalene. Also, squalene and squalene are both derived from plants. You just want to check on the packaging and make sure it does say plant-derived. So hopefully this will give you a little nugget of information, maybe whispering in your ear as you're picking up a product and thinking, hmm, do I want to buy this? This squalene face oil from Melixir is all the wonderful things that I talked about squalene being. There's a lot of products with squalene out there. This just happens to be the one that I have been playing with lately, and it is just a lovely oil. It is super thin. It's a very lightweight oil. I love how quickly it absorbs. I love that there isn't a perfume scent to it. I've been adding this to my skin right before my moisturizer. All right, one product I'm really excited to talk to you guys about being back is Elysian. They came out with Continuum. I'm sure you remember me talking about Elysian last year. I mispronounced it and called it Elysian. But they rebranded their product as a finishing treatment because of all the wonderful things it did. It wasn't just a primer. Now, you can still use this product as a primer, but you can also use it as a last step in any skincare routine. It works great around the eyes. Um, I've even put it all over my lips before I put lipstick on to let my lipstick last a little bit longer and not like get all dry and cracky. What I really like is even on a no makeup day, I can just put this on and it still gives me that soft filtered look. One of the things I like about this company is that they really think about the health benefits of your skin and they don't add any drying alcohols. 
They don't add fragrances, essential oils, animal byproducts. They add none of that. So it's just great ingredients like hyaluronic acid, matrixyl 3000, red algae, argelene. It's and I know a couple of you guys emailed me when Elizen was repackaging their products and you were like, hey, I can't order it. Well, now you can. So I'll put the link below so you guys can jump on and order your own finishing treatment. All right, so now that we talked about cleansing products, a finishing treatment slash primer, let's talk about some new makeup I've been using. A new foundation I've been using, and this one is from Tom Ford. I've been kind of on a Tom Ford kick lately. Um, I have their foundation, I have their blush, I just got a couple of their lipsticks. I still love the La Mer foundation, but I found myself kind of adding a couple drops of oil or adding a thinner foundation to it because I really wanted to create a lighter, glowy look. So instead of being my own crazy mixologist when it came to foundations, I came across this Tom Ford Traceless Perfection Foundation. And it is all the things that I normally try to create on the back of my hand when I'm applying foundation. It gives a light coverage, it gives a glowy finish, and it lasts all day long. I don't see it ever cracking in any fine lines. I don't see it enhancing any wrinkles. It appears effortless and it is not high maintenance to use either. Another fun thing I get to show you guys is look at this cute little tower. And when I opened it up, da -da -da, it's the balms and lipsticks that Origins came out with. These lipsticks and balms are just so beautiful. Instead of chapstick, I've been using the balms and I just touch up my lips and I get a nice hint of color and it's glossy and shiny and hydrating and perfect for this cold, wet time of year when your lips are just screaming for some extra nourishment, but you still wanna have a little color. So I'm actually wearing their nude lipstick right now and this nude lipstick is called Sweeter Than Honey. So like Origin says, they're always made with the good stuff. You're not gonna have any parabens or mineral oils in their lipsticks. To create the colors, they actually do use crushed flower petals and honeys. So if you guys are looking for some really nice, creamy, pigmented lipsticks that are gonna wear well on your lips, then next time you walk by an Origins counter or one of their boutique stores, I would definitely tell you to stop in and swatch a couple colors. Cause once you put your first one on, you're gonna be like, oh, oh, this is it. And that's when you start like rubbing your lips together. Cause you're like, oh, this is so nice. All right, last but not least, this is just truly for me because I kind of raved a little bit about that Nest candle, the pumpkin chai one. I went on, I went on Sephora and I got their collection. This is their 10th anniversary discovery kit and it is just like just opening the box like this whole room is gonna smell amazing. Well, look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? Like, ah. so I have to tell you, I was gonna be good and I wanted to buy this and my brain before it had arrived, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this as like hostess gifts and stocking stuffers. And then I started smelling them and I was like, oh, I really like this one. And oh, I really like that one. And oh, I, I really like all of these. So I'm keeping them all for myself. <laughs> I have to tell you the reason I got it is because it had the pumpkin chai and it also had their new holiday scent candle. And I've been wanting their holiday scent candle. So maybe if you guys pick it up, you'll be better and you'll pick out a couple for yourself and you might gift the rest of them. But <sighs> just means you're a stronger person than I am. All right, so that's been everything I've been playing with like end of November through December. So thanks for letting me hop on and share it with you guys. I'm also thinking about refilming my morning skincare routine video. So expect a new morning skincare routine video coming out very soon. I wish you all the best, the happiest of holidays, and the most blessed of New Year's as 2019 is right around the corner. Thank you again for watching.